<laughs> it's a hazy and misty September morning and I've been well, I've been out in the garden for the last couple of hours and uh, I'm now really hot I started off in decidedly winter clothes and I've just been into the house to change into uh, summer clothes it's obviously not summer it's awesome but um, I'm hot right, uh, so uh, so far I have uh, laid down the plastic uh, on the next bed that needs uh, covering I've, I've I let the little chicks uh, out to have a little run around which I did yesterday and uh, it's so nice to see them free ranging they are having a whale of a time I would go and move the watering can if I do that they'll all get frightened off from what they're doing so these little chaps and chapesses are now six weeks old and uh, another couple of weeks and they can go and join the main flock they've got so much confidence actually they kind of look ready to join them now but i'm going to give it a couple more weeks or maybe a week or so um just to let, allow them to grow a little bit so that if they do get chased or pecked or sat on by one of the um the bigger birds it doesn't do too much damage to them And the other thing I've done is to invite the ducks to come and dibble in the food forest area and uh, help clear that of some of the uh, huge slugs and, uh, and the snails that we've got here. So they've been out here uh, dibbling around for about half an hour and, uh, and they've now headed back into their enclosure to, <laughs> to get a drink. And I thought that today I would pick some of the apples from one of the uh, trees in our orchard our mini orchard in the front garden and these are not these are not fantastic apples <laughs> they've, uh, this poor old apple tree has had uh, what is that black spot and uh, I suspect it's got scab or something else anyway they're not great apples but uh, but they will be fine for juicing and uh, and they may well be fine for uh, for cooking as well. So I think possibly if I just peel them and uh, anyway, we'll see. pretty pleased with that look they look very nice and it also looks like some of the pears are ready so this is the tree with the two different types of pear on it and they are enormous pears uh, but I have noticed that some have fallen on the floor which would imply that they're very much ready Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. Look at all these pears. There's about four or five. There's about four or five that were windfalls and all the rest I've just picked from the tree so they can go into storage safely. So the ones that I've picked uh, will get checked over because obviously we don't want to store things like that. But I can cut that out and use the rest of the pear. So they'll get checked over. Oh, I'm properly delighted. Look at these. 
So we've got quite a few pairs uh, to dry a little bit. It's just to get the moisture off their skin and then they're going to go into the fridge to store and then obviously the ones with ones with slight blemishes on like these will be the first to be brought out of the fridge and eaten. And then in this bag, uh, this is five pounds of a, a mixture of the Williams and the conference pairs and these are the ones that have had uh, they've got nibbles and marks and uh, and they're the windfall ones and I've tied them into this bag loosely so although there's a knot in the top for me to carry it they the uh, there is there is a ventilation gap at the top uh, and they're in there with a banana that's ripening because uh, as far as I know and as I understand the gases given off by bananas as they're ripening will ripen another fruit which means these ones will ripen faster and, uh, and because these are damaged ones and windfall ones I'm going to make some wine with them and the apples from the tree outside well I'm going to be chopping those up shortly and uh, making some apple sauce mm -hmm. 